Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty nine in chapter twenty five. Chapter twenty five is about electrical currents and resistance. So there you can see we have the wire right consisted of five meter copper and five meter aluminum. Aluminum. So this is L. Half of is L. Half another half is L. So half is a five meter. We write it down. The diameter is given one point five millimeter. And also the voltages across this wire is given. This is eighty-five miracle a million volts. Write it down there. Ask you what is the total resistance of the two wires? You can see the sum of these two wires. We need to find the wire for copper and another wire for aluminum, right? As we can see, look at the quantity given. The length, the diameter. So very straightforward. We can consider this resistance as the resistivity times L divided by A. So we need to find the resistivity for these two materials, copper and aluminum, in our test book. You write it down. Now we get prepared. So first one, the resistance for copper is use the resistivity for copper times L divided by A. A can be replaced as a, a pi R squared, right? R can be replaced as the diameter over two, so you can get this term there. We did this uh, calculation several times. You can check the previous video if you don't understand this part. Input all the given quantities, get answer there. Very similarly, we can find the resistance for aluminum and still the resistivity for aluminum rho L times the length L divided by cross-sectional area A. And this cross-sectional area A can be replaced as a pi d squared over 4, right? And input all the given quantities, you get answer there. Now add this uh, uh, resistance for copper and resistance for aluminum together, you get answer there. This one, what is the current that goes through this uh, wire? As we talk about, the voltage is given. From Ohm's law, you can use the voltage divided by resistance against the current, right? So input all the given quantity, get answer there. The next one, what is the voltage across aluminum part and across the copper part? So easy. As we can see, this copper part and aluminum part are connected in series connection. Mm -hmm. The current equals Agree the current equals so that makes the voltages for copper is the current times the resistance for copper. Mm -hmm. Input the given quantity, get answer there. The voltages for aluminum equal to the current times the resistance for aluminum. Input these two quantities, get answer there. Thank you.